Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you've never been here before. It's currently a Sunday, 9, 12 a.m. and I'm just about to go to the gym. But before I do, I wanna go through some sales. Of course, we're gonna start with Vinted first and then some eBay and some in between. But before I do, just wanna bring something up. Recently, I had a comment on one of my videos that said, I've come to the conclusion that you would be stuck with low value stuff if it wasn't for your subscribers, viewers buying it up. Now, Mr. Jenkins, I'm not gonna give you a million reasons why I think you're wrong, which I could, but I'm also not gonna give you one reason why you're right, because I can't. My response to that was, this is no hate or no shade, by the way. It's gonna segue nicely into something I wanna talk about. I responded with, enjoy that conclusion. Maybe it's the fact that I price it cheap enough that regardless, it will sell, but people who subscribe to my channel get first dibs, because they are first ones to be notified that it goes up. You watch my channel, you see me pick it up, you know that I'm gonna list it, you know it's coming. You've got like a foreseen advantage. And then Chris replied, somebody else, I think I agree with that view, Ricky. You are a bang on great guy, but you're highlighting stuff that probably you'd have to increase visibility on, i.e. pay extra on eBay. However, I love the Essex chat, haha. <laughs> And then somebody else commented and said, it is true, he does get most sales from viewers, but he is a different type of reseller. A reseller with a YouTube channel. He is a good picker too. He just finds a way to make money from eBay, YouTube and viewers, and that's good for him. I wish he would do like viewer sales and then vintage and eBay natural sales. So, Wamistadian, I don't even know what your name is, I can't pronounce that one, I do apologise. suggestion there is actually going to get used so I think what I'm going to start doing is sales from viewers which is going to be harder for me to try and figure out eBay invented whatever it's a bit more work for me but if that works for you I'll happily try that out it's not a bad suggestion but on to Jenkins's point about if it wasn't for you guys I'd be stuck with low value items most reselling channels will show you what they find and how much they pay for them and how much they're gonna sell them for, top end. Smash that market value. And it's great to watch. I used to love seeing that kind of stuff when I was an avid viewer. And it is great content, it's good viewing, and it gives you, the viewer, a good idea of what to look for in the future, as long as they're being truthful, of course. But you can always do your own research on stuff. But it doesn't give you the chance to get your hands on it. You know, you might see somebody pick up this really nice t-shirt that you like, and then you, before you know it, they've listed it for market price of 35 quid and you're like yeah it's good but i like to buy things show you what's out there teach you new things to pick up show you what they're worth and then put them on ebay and vinted for a hell of a lot cheaper and if you've seen the video and you know where my socials are ebay's down below vinted is 2002 rl i do need to put it in the description i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna do it today then you get the chance to get your hands on them for lower the market value I'm a reseller. If I don't sell things for profit, I'm not doing my job right. So of course I'm going to profit. But I don't need to hit that top margin ceiling. That doesn't bother me. My YouTube channel is very important to me, especially at the moment. You can tell I'm putting a lot more effort into it. And me being able to buy these items and sell them for a hell of a lot cheaper, which makes Ryan think I'm selling cheap tat that I'll be stuck with if I didn't have viewers, gives me a chance to say thank you back to you guys. I don't make as much profit but i still make profit i'm not stupid this is my job i might be selling it cheap but i'm turning a profit and you guys also get a good deal you get to buy something that you actually want or need and that's okay with me because i'm the same i'm a bargain hunter i need to feel like i'm getting that bargain it's in my job it's in my blood it's how i am i need to feel like i am getting a bargain so i try and pass that experience on to you guys and anybody else who doesn't view my channels and doesn't know who I am other than an eBay account or a standard vintage account if they see it and they get to get it they get it as well it just increases that buyer experience getting a bargain there's almost nothing quite like it so I like to accommodate that bargain experience into the process as well and if you guys who watch and support my channels can get it first good on you Building this channel is currently, and of course, has future plans to be a part of my business model. And without people watching it, it means nothing. It's just a, what is it? Vine. I was trying to think about ways that I could give back. I'm always doing giveaways, and I want to be able to 
find a way that, I don't know, just a way to sort of say cheers and show you some support back and give you some deals. I could do merchandise, do a cheesy mug, no offense, bro, coasters and key rings and whatever else. They might come in the future, but for now, nobody cares about Ricky Resell's merchandise. Nobody wants to wear a t-shirt with my logo, do you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. Or I could open up memberships properly. I know there's a couple of you that have actually recently joined memberships, which I massively appreciate because there is literally no perks to it whatsoever. I opened it up about three years ago when I was given the access. I was just testing it all out. So now that I've highlighted it, I don't actually mind if you cancel your memberships. But I could do all those kinds of things, you know what I mean? Me, 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 merch, merch, merch. Give me, give me, give me, but get nothing back apart from obviously the content. The content isn't free. This costs me to make time and money and effort. But you know, I know we're living in like a privileged world. You can just put YouTube on and watch a video. In your head, it's free. You know what I mean? Not many people realise what goes on behind the scenes and that is okay. You don't have to. You're the viewer. Enjoy the experience. I've just noticed I've gone on for about 11 minutes so far and obviously I'm going to be cutting loads of that out. So I don't want to waffle on too much about it. But I like to think that you guys who are watching, you're not idiots. You're not going to just buy cheap tat for the sake of it. Just because most of the sales that I'm selling on Vinted are under a fiver, doesn't mean it's cheap, low value items that I would be stuck with. I wouldn't be stuck with it. Because the prices that I put my things at, anybody on Vinted would pay the price for. Not just subscribers. Subscribers and viewers and friends of the channel just get a little bit of a head start and a heads up. That is all. And as for saying like, I wish he would show his natural sales. They're all organic. Everything's natural. I'm not forcing anybody. But I'm guessing you mean like non-subscriber sales. I wish he would show what his natural sales are like in order to give a true representation of what it's like to be a reseller. You must be really, really, really new here. Because I've only recently been doing this kind of eBay, YouTube implementation style to my videos. I know people are buying things and they're hoping for a shout out. Why wouldn't you? I remember the channel you music days where you text your little picture into the tv or you get a shout out on the radio i know how cool that is at least this way they get to actually have something physical as well i'm not silly i know what the experience is but i've only been doing that for a few months where have you been for the last five years i'll show you what it's like to be a real reseller but i am going to implement your idea and do subscriber sales then ebay sales then vinted even though subscriber sales will consist of eBay and Vinted, and then eBay, and then Vinted. I just always do Vinted first, then eBay. And when I do Vinted, I say, oh, this one's from XYZ, thank you so much. And then with the other ones, I just say, this sold for five pound. You can work out which one's a subscriber, which one isn't. And the only way that I can tell if you're a viewer of the channel or not, by the way, is if you leave a note with the order or a message after. Otherwise, if I just see the order, when it comes to going through the sales on a video, you're going to be classed as an organic customer. So please remember to leave a note if you do that. So that's all I'm going to say on the matter. No bitterness, no spitefulness, no hate, no anger. Just thought it was definitely worth highlighting and speaking about. So people know that I'm not daft into what's going on. I'm not daft into what the content is about. Yes, YouTube is a part of my business now, but eBay pays my bills and Vinted and other avenues. I've got other sources of income that I do not even talk about because they don't relate to the channel. I don't just make money from eBay, Vinted and YouTube. There are other places as well. So you better believe I'm okay. If I, sell, if I pay a pound for something and sell it for 10 and it's worth 35, I'm all right. I'm not rich, but I'm all right. eBay and reselling is the content. YouTube is the side hustle, but it's something that I really enjoy. I enjoy being creative. I enjoy being part of the community. I enjoy helping and sculpting and sometimes being there for the beginnings of people's journeys. So Mr. Jenkins, if people wanted to buy low-value, junky old tat, I would just put out some merch. But we're not going to do that. Let's get into some sales. In fact, I'm going to go to the gym first because this went on longer than I expected it to. I'll come back. Everything's picked. We'll come back and we'll go through it all. Oh, and also, we're going to draw the winner for the crab. And we have another giveaway coming up. But it is now 9.30 on the dot. What a beautiful number. And we're going to go to the gym. Hopefully be back by about 10, 10.30, then we can crack on. There we go, it's half 10 and we are done. Not so bad at all for a Sunday, is it? I feel good, I feel better. I feel great, actually. Let's go back and do some sales. I am knackered though. Right, we're back, refreshed and energized. So because we're changing the dynamic here, you're just gonna have to bear with me a second while I try and figure out what are subscriber sales and what are not. 
basically. Move this over here so we can see where we are. It's absolutely hammering down out there. No chance of a car boot sale this weekend. Didn't get a chance, won't get a chance. Playing from Ricky's MacBook Pro. Right, so let's see if we can figure this out. The Dockside Sebagos have sold. I picked these up for £6 in the charity shop. I was umming and ahhing because I've never found a pair before and I just didn't know what kind of condition they had to be in in order to make them a viable pickup. These have like, suede needs to be dried correctly. They have like watermarks on them, all mentioned in the listing. You can get them back out. I think you have to just re-wet them and dry them properly. These have sold for £13.33 and they have gone to Jacqueline. She says, hey Ricky, no mention of the sticky, I promise. I'll see what you did there. I said you weren't going to mention it by mentioning it. Great vids, keep them coming. She then sent another message saying, where can I offer on the black brolly, the YSL one? I'm in no rush to list those, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. It's actually a bit more difficult doing it this way. Normally I pick the orders, set a vintage, set of eBay, and then I can just do one, do the other. Now I've got a... You're causing me more work, guys. But I do, I quite like the idea. It does break it up even more, doesn't it? Viewer sales, eBay, vintage. I like it, well done. We've sold a Lipsy lace top, I had this for ages now, sold it for two pound, moved it on. Got a message from Alison saying, thanks for accepting my offer, love watching you on YouTube. Alison, thank you so much, I appreciate it. I just noticed I haven't replied to you there, so I will now. Thank you, thanks. There you go, you've got a live view of me replying to you. Really appreciate it, thank you very much. The Healy wheelless wheels shoes, because they've got no, shoe, no, no wheels in them. Someone said, they're under the cap, I've checked in the cap, there's no wheels. Last thing to go from Jammy Dodgers pickup. They have sold for £3.33. Much love as always, Sticky Ricky. All the best. Keep inspiring people. Mark, from where there's muck, there's brass. I shouted out his YouTube channel a little while ago. Please go check him out. Mark, I do believe you are actually on a personal account when it comes to YouTube. So before you go balls deep, I personally recommend you change into a, what they call it, a a fan account, that's literally what it's called, a fan account or something like that, and then start your videos again because you're gonna get so far in, it's gonna be a personal account. I tried to find you and I couldn't find you until I did some like tweaking and realized. So just take a look at that basically, Mark. My advice to you, mate. Three pounds 33, thank you so much. Uh, I think that is also pre-loved, baby! Has picked up my personal Calvin Klein golf hat. Should have kept this for the gym actually, never mind. Pre-loved baby 22. I, I normally try and go into, I have to go into the names because I, like I like to say your name, but I have to like send the label, pretend to print the label so I can actually see the actual name, Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much. She says, me and my husband watch your YouTube videos and they are great. Keep up the good work. Lisa, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Say hello to your husband as well. Actually, if he's watching, hello husband, nameless husband. Fox Racing five panel cap, really nice. I love this. It just doesn't quite suit me, the grey. I need it to be like darker. This is sold for £14 and 14 pence, which I think is a steal. Don't want to get stuck with a cheat tat, do we? Hello, I'd love to buy this. Please, can you mention my wife, Dana, on your YouTube channel? I think she's watched every single one of your videos. Thanks, Matt. Dana, Dana, Dana. Dana, Dana, Dana. Dana, 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 Dana. Sorry. Mario. Dana, love you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you as well, Matt. Awesome pickup. Thank you both. Stop doing Mario at people. Stop it. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, nim, 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 nim. I had this listed for like three pounds thirty-seven or something. My again, these are all my personal caps. These are all mine. I paid for them. They're out of my pocket. I'm just I having to pay tax on them once I sell them. So this, I think it's three pounds thirty-three. I've got an offer of three sixty-nine. Saying love the channel, bro. That is from BDM Sportswear over on Vinted. Just print the label so I can see your actual name. Connor, big up Connor. Hoosh. Ah, Ian has picked up the Fred's custom tackle hat. Nice little one. This is really really cool. It's got that kind of like fisherman's trawling shape. It's made out of like a shell material, nice embroidered there, little rope. It's such a nice hat. I just can't get on with it. And when I had the haircut, I thought, just sell the ones you don't wear. Sell them. This is from Ian. Thanks, Ricky. Just saw you were listing this on your video and decided to grab it. You are most welcome, mate. I hope you're the same Ian that messaged me saying, where can I find your hat? I hope that's you. Let me check the label. I don't know. Maybe. Hope you are, because you asked, obviously. If not, oh well. <laughs> Massively appreciate it, Ian, on its way to you. What did I say it's all for? 11 11. Be on its way to you today at some point. Hear that rain. Lovely. Love the rain. 
I've just ordered another North Face jacket off of Vinted, 18 pound plus postage and stuff, so what, 22 quid? For a North Face Summit Series Gore-Tex XCR. Beautiful. Hopefully it comes. That's all the viewer sales on Vinted. Now we're gonna do some viewer sales on eBay. So yesterday, John Saunders sent me, I sent out an offer, I think I'd listed at eight pound, sent out an offer, and he sent me a counter offer at 10 and said, basically I wanna support your channel. So for £10, he picked up the Made in Japan 101 Dalmatians mug. And he then did the same, something very similar. I think I had them listed for £14.99. He sent me a counter offer of 16 for those three glass elephants that I've got. So, John, I massively appreciate it, mate. He sent me some lovely messages by you by saying like, he loves the channel and loves watching and stuff. So I do appreciate it. And these are still very good prices and you sent me a bit more than what I asked for. So I do appreciate that, mate. Nobody has to do that. I did feel weird at first when it happened for the very, very, very first time. But I've learned to realise now that people are getting information, boredom killing and other stuff and entertainment from my channel. It's just their way of giving back. And I appreciate it. I do, I do appreciate it. I wonder if this is the same Ian. Well, that was a thunder then. Well, a lightning. Thunder will be in a minute. I wonder if this is the same Ian. Ian's picked this up for £22.99. It is the brand new and sealed Puzz 3D Chateau de Chanacao. I don't know how to say it like Del Boy Trotter or something like that. Cheers for the offer, Ricky. Keep on keeping on. Ian. Ian, I massively appreciate you, brother. On its way to you today. I think that is it for subscriber sales. So I'll let you do the maths on that and work out how much money things are and whether I've sold off cheap tat that nobody else would buy unless they're a viewer. Oh, I almost forgot one more vintage one. Sorry, mate. Mr. Top Cat Terry Terry has picked up the North Face jacket. He sent me a message basically saying um, about the sizes and I understand. Hi, Ricky. Hope you don't mind me sending you a cheeky offer. I had it listed for $24.99 or $24.24. I'm not being tight, but I'm normally a large and depending on the make I can get into a medium, so I thought I would give it a try. Me and the missus are long-time subscribers on YouTube, and I do recognise your display picture, actually, mate. And love your content and your style. Not taking things too serious and keeping the videos fun. That's what I'm trying to do. Anyways, hope my offer is okay. P.S. I do resell myself. Terry. So I replied and said, yeah, absolutely, mate. It's yours. All yours. I think it was 2020 or something like that. Yeah, 2020 was the offer. I paid a fiver for it. So I really appreciate this, guys. Both of you, you and your lovely missus. Hopefully it does fit you. I did reply to him and say, absolutely, mate. And if it doesn't fit, at least you can sell it on and make some profit as well. So win-win all round there. I've made 15 quid. He's got a nice jacket. Hopefully it fits him. If not, we haven't lost too much, have we? Big up, Terry. I appreciate you. I'm just going to double check to make sure that is all the orders because if I've missed one, I've probably missed another. No, that's it. For, that's it for viewer sales right so back to vinted for mm, all of these and now what i believe to be non-subscriber sales there's no messages no notes so back to vinted <sighs> causing me causing me work you lot two happily ever after high doll things i paid a fiver from the car boot sale for these they're either missing pieces or broken or whatever else it's like it's just not everything's going on there it's paid five sold for nine the Finch hat has sold for £4.44. These are still on Vinted. Paid one fifty from a charity shop. Kept it for myself for a bit, but again, I wasn't wearing it much, so I just sold it. And that's it on Vinted for those kinds of things. Ah, damn it. Sorry, I lied. I lied on eBay. We've got another viewer sale. My apologies. My apologies. Moving back over to eBay now, and there's a viewer sale. I will learn to figure this out, all right? This is the first day of me doing it. Picked this up at the weekend for £2, but well, it is the weekend, Friday, for £2. Sold it for £9.99, no, £8.99 it sold for. Hello, recently found your YouTube channel and I've been making my way through watching all of your videos. Glad I found something to buy to support the business. Keep doing what you're doing. Thumbs up. Daniel, massively appreciate that, mate. £2 into £8.99 minus fees and stuff. Probably, I'll probably double up on that. No more subscriber sales, I don't think. Not that they're not important, but... Ikea desk lamp, paid a pound from the car boot sale, has sold for £13.49. Right, I want to try and be careful with this because I want to show you something. This is sold for £35.39. It's a nice little kind of mutcher style French Hamlet mirror. But watch this, look. When I open the back up, oh, well, you can't see it. You have to trust me, I'm opening the back. I open the back up to expose the mirror and on it, behind it, this mirror, by the way, is made in Japan, but behind it, obviously to try and keep it flat are these like cardboard pieces. I mean, they're not worth anything, but look, they're actually vintage mirror packaging 
boxes. I'm more pathetic for finding that interesting. I'll put them back in there. That's all for thirty four ninety nine. I've had that for ages. Paid four pound from a charity shop. Stuck around forever, forever. I didn't list it for ages either, though. To be fair, the Shanghai Tang bag has sold. The Shanghai Tang bag has sold. What did I pay? Two pound or three pound or four pound? No more than four pound. Sold last night on an offer for sixty pounds. All in. Wonderful pickup that was. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Lasted about a week. I've showed you before, but just so you can keep a lookout for the label yourself as well. I think it's good to see the images. They stick in your brain more. Shanghai Tang. Pinch yourself right now and say, Shanghai Tang. Apparently, if you pinch yourself, it stays in your memory or something like that. Don't know. And for £122... Ah, oh, damn it. I've put this down here without breaking it. Shit. I've messed up. Let me actually put this mirror back together for a second. Let me Hold on. There we go. As I was saying, for £122, we've sold the RM Williams boots. Oh, I've packed them away again now. But these came from that £107 pickup that I keep mentioning. I think I've sold everything now. Paid £107 for everything. I, I had wrap stuff, a hoodie that I'm wearing today, loads of t-shirts, barber stuff. Sold it all now. I think this is the last piece to go. £122 all in. RM Williams is a fantastic brand. You can find their jackets and their jeans and stuff like that as well. They don't tend to go for as much, but the boots, oh my goodness, the boots. When you see RM Williams boots for less than 20 quid, you're doing all right. You know, these are nice, soft, supple, virgin leather, I think they're called. I mean, you won't catch me in a pair of those, but who am I to judge people's style and fashion? Everybody's expression is to their own and how they want to express that is their own choice. And if you want to stick on a pair of booties and make you feel good, good on you. And that is it for all of the sales. I will try and smooth that kind of process out a little bit. I do like the idea of a whole section of viewer sales and then eBay and then Vinted, even though the viewer sales are going to be mixed up of eBay, Vinted and Instagram. Instagram! Ah! Fuck, oh, this is difficult. I don't normally bend to the whim of other people, but I like the idea, so I'm going to. Jamie Chown. Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie has picked up... Ah, oh, I can't find the box. It's over there. Here it is. Not that it matters anyway. Two more caps, again, of my own that I've had for a good few years. The Fresh Ego Kid with the water stain and the Black Fresh Ego Kid as well. He's picked these up for... I think it was 16 66 yeah, 1666. Jamie, massively appreciate that, my man. Sorry, mate. Sorry, I almost forgot you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, we're going to do another giveaway today. And that is going to be for... So I picked up two of these from the car boot sale and then somebody very kindly sent me one as well. So the one that I was sent, I'm going to keep that and then we're going to give away this one as well. It's one of those little Ikea bag coin purse things. You've seen them everywhere now. Really good for the car boots. So I'll keep you changing with your little like your bag. We're going to give that away today. But first, let's draw the winner for the crab. <laughs> right then, as always, we need this channel link. We pop it into a random comment generator and we fetch it. We do anything goes on this one. This is for the crabby crab crab. 144 comments and we're going to pick a winner. Three, two, one, hoof! Rot the General, thanks for the coin pouch and the shout out. Matt, another banger vid. Recently, Matt picked up the Pokemon coin pouch for his daughter, I do believe. And now he's only gonna want the crab as well. Come on, Matty boy, pinch, pinch. I just realized that light died. Don't know when that happened, but my face looks like I'm, I don't know, malnourished or something. So Matt's won the crabby crab crab. What's wrong with me? And now we're gonna give away the Ikea coin purse. As always, all you've got to do to enter is like the video and comment down below and you will have an opportunity to win the IKEA coin pouch. Oh, coin pouch. Very fitting, isn't it? It's not even that exciting, Ricky, mate. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I see I do take your comments on board. Even though I think you're slightly wrong on what you're saying, the first original commenter, some of the comments after that are more coherent and I've taken some of them on board. So I do listen. I do like your feedback. I won't always bend to what you say, unless it's a good idea. And I like that idea. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Anybody who's picked anything up, you're the best. The best.
Thank you so much. Well done, Matt, and good luck on the IKEA coin pouch, purse thing, whatever it is, mini bag. You know what it is. Try and get that over your shoudre. Although I know Jack Udi definitely could throw that over his shoulder and use it for a car boot bag. Love you all so much. Take care and goodbye. There's no, there's no coffee in this. <laughs>